Hiya, this is Guntech, and you've probably heard of this game. This is Osiris New Dawn. And I just wanted to share how much I love this game. So this is my base with a barracks. Decrypt station. Uh, let me commence the game, go inside the barracks. Because I wanted to show you this not ready so this is a games console actually an Atari 2600 I found out so the hope is uh, we'll be able to sit on our couch and play <laughs> an Atari 2600 emulator inside a triple A 3D game so this game is beautiful man I've had some experiences uh, with weather and caves and all that stuff and it's really immersive. I mean, just for the experience. So this is my habitat. Chemistry table, fabricator, um, kitchen, storage. This is my biodome, where I can put uh, down some plant beds. I haven't done that yet. Great visibility for this uh, planet that I'm on. Uh, and over there, through the hallway, uh, in, a, in a barracks, I can build some more. So let's go out the um, airlock. This is my first base. Um, very simple. But it helped me get to where I am now. So I have my first vehicle built. And basically, this is what I got from... 15 hours in single player and that's one of the things that makes this game pretty unique I'd say some survival games have PvP okay we'll leave that topic alone uh, but they also have uh, if they have something else they have PvE or they may have a PvP server with uh, a server name that says PvE friendly come and join and then there they are waiting to raid you um, but um, this game has all three so it has PvP PvE and single player so you, can, you really can um, get started and uh, get to grips with the game and this uh, first vehicle is superb I mean you can go all the way across the planet with this and it really fe felt like a fantastic unlock, I gotta say, when I got this. I mean, uh, it cut down the grind, which wasn't that grindy to begin with, as you can tell, uh, compared to other games. And, well, I have nothing bad to say about this game, just Go get it if you like. If you like, if you even like sci-fi just a little bit, it's a given. If you don't like sci-fi, if you like like primitive games, where you like craft your first stone axe or something, well, this is the same basically. You start out primitive, and it's it's just another type of primitive. You're starting over on another planet, and so what do you need to survive? So a few days in you may run out of water so you will need to either find some hydrogen and oxygen and put it all together or do like I did um, a water plant here so I can just drink from this and in five minutes I can drink some more so just go get it I, I, I it was a long time since I was this, <laughs> this, um, well, it, it's just every hour in this game has been scary, enjoyable, fun, challenging, or just, you know, immersive. I love it. So with that plug, I'm not sponsored by anyone, as you know. Um, I just wanted to show what you can get in five, 15 hours 
and I'm no expert at this game. I just this is my first game slot. I actually died once and it was a bit of a grind to get um, my guns back, but you have this skill web where you can expand your skills and spend skill points to where you can, you know, build a spaceship or get heavy assault rifles and stuff like that. So and when I build my spaceship, I can go to another planet. So, and and the intro screen to the game promises, what is it? Eight planets and a sun? So, I really have high hopes for this, and I think it's the best showing. I mean, since October, when it came out, it was pretty much already finished as a game that you could enjoy. So... Uh, unlike other games where you can you could feel that you bought it too soon or whatever that you had to wait until and until um, the fun stuff is in this is different and here's a meteor shower so I, I could grab my uh, hover bike and go chase that meteor that just fell down stuff like that I just love it so that's it for me and um, thanks for watching and bye bye